Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Super excited about this video today. I have managed to get my hands on a couple of new product releases from Hourglass. And if you are a regular to my channel, you will know how much I absolutely adore the brand Hourglass and the products that they release. Just, oh, absolute pure luxury. The products are so well refined. Just the quality is unbelievable and that's why I hold it on a pedestal. It's also cruelty free. A lot of their products are also vegan. What's not to like? So I have got a couple of products to review for you today. This is going to be a first impressions review. These only came through the door this morning and I am filming this video immediately. So the two products that I've got for you today. Firstly, I've got the brand new mascara. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara and um, weirdly the last mascara that Hourglass released which was the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara I think is the only product from Hourglass that I haven't liked and it isn't down to the quality it just wasn't my cup of tea so I am quite eager to see whether the formula in this is going to be really different to that formula which really didn't suit me the other product that I've got is the Ambient Light infinity powder and this looks slightly different to the way that it looked on the website it's actually much paler than I originally thought it was going to be so I am eager to get some of that on my skin hopefully you will stick around for that please also consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads I upload on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time and I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there it's at pampered wolf or lowercase no spaces let's do a little bit of bump on these products so firstly let's look at the mascara the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. It's a lovely golden tube. It's also got the Hourglass logo on the back with the little bunny in there as well, which is super, super cute. And um, when you open the product, the wand is incredibly thin. This actually reminds me of the wand that you get within the um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara, which I also absolutely loved. These um, little fine points on here though are slightly bigger than the ones that you get within the Benefit Mascara so hopefully this will keep all of the lashes completely separate so there'll be no clumping whatsoever but also give that beautiful extension to the lashes as well. Okay so according to the website this says this is £29 you get 10 grams worth of product and it says that this is going to give you the look of lash extensions which to me would say that this will really lengthen the lashes and make sure that every lash is separate making the lashes look fuller apparently this gives instant lengthening payoff and a hundred percent of the people surveyed said that this instantly lengthened their lashes now i take this with a pinch of salt because i can't find anywhere on the website that says how many people were in that specific survey and there's a huge difference to five people being in the survey to 500 people within a survey and a hundred percent of them saying that it instantly lengthened their lashes so again take that with a pinch of salt but this this is supposed to give intense length, lift and definition to the lashes and it has a film forming technology so it's supposed to coat the lashes both back and front. This is also supposed to be smudge proof and 93% of the people that were in the survey said that it was smudge proof all day so there are some people that disagreed with that fact and you may get some smudging with this mascara but hopefully not a lot. This also has a moulded brush which I've just shown you which targets every single lash and it is a really lovely brush if you have really short lashes you're not going to keep hitting the eyelid or the under eye with a really chunky brush this is going to be really really easy to use this is also supposed to be removed very very easily with just a little bit of warm water I'm not quite sure what that means if you are in a very humid climate that may be a problem for you but we'll see a little bit later on so for any of you that are interested in ingredients or maybe have some allergies this is free from any gluten mineral oil parabens phthalates sulfates synthetic fragrance and also talc let's have a look at this and get some on 
So I've got a feeling this isn't going to be a volumizing formula. So if you like volumizing and lengthening, this might not be for you, but let's just see. I'm gonna go straight in right at the base of my lashes, which is what it actually says to do. And I'm just gonna apply that at the base and then pull it up to the ends of the lashes. The color of this is actually quite an intense black. It's very, very nice. There are no globs of product. Actually, there is a tiny little bit there. Very, very easy to apply. The wand is coated beautifully with the mascara, but not too much. Now, my lashes are a little bit difficult to apply mascara on at the moment. As you can see, they're growing in lots of different directions, which is incredibly annoying. And I also have a little bit of the lash lift left in some of my lashes, but new lashes have grown. So some of the lashes are pointing forwards and some of the lashes are pointing straight up. So I am gonna have to go to the back and make sure that all the lashes are coated before I then redo the front and that was quite easy so let's just have a little bit of a close-up on that with one coat like I said my lashes are a little bit difficult to apply mascara to at the moment so it had a really really tricky test to begin with but most of the lashes are quite separate there's very little clumping and because this isn't a volumizing formula the lashes look very separate and they look very long. They do, however, look a little bit sparse because it doesn't have that volumizing formula to this mascara. So um, I'm happy with that, especially with one coat. I'm gonna put one coat on this side and then I'm gonna come back and put another coat on this side and have a look at the lower lashes. Okay, so both sides have one coat. This side went on like an absolute dream, but let's go in for a second coat, so. My lashes aren't making this any easier for me. Like I said right at the beginning, some of them are growing that way, some of them are growing that way, some of them are growing forwards, some of them are growing backwards. It's just a little bit of a nightmare. So I'm just gonna pop another coat on this side. And this side does tend to behave itself a little better. And that's gone on absolutely perfectly. So if you've got really nice straight lashes that aren't growing in all directions, then you might really, really like this mascara because on this side, it looks so much better than how it's applied to this side, which is a little bit all over the place. So let's have a look at the lower lashes because my lower lashes, there's no problem with my lower lashes whatsoever. So this should apply really, really nicely. And the wand is perfect for lower lashes because it's not too chunky. So you can use the end of the wand to go in and apply it like this, or you can use the side of the wand like you do your upper lashes. You're not going to get this everywhere because it's not a cumbersome wand to use. Very, very easy. And the result of that is very, very nice. I like formulas like this for the lower lashes that don't make my lower lashes look incredibly volumized and chunky. I like my lower lashes to be much more black in color, but still completely separate. And that definitely happens with this mascara. Hmm, really like that. Beautiful, really, really like the result of that. So this is definitely a formula that I will be using again and again and again. They don't actually feel with two coats on, too crunchy. They still have movement in there, so that is how I like my lashes to feel. I don't like my lashes to feel like they're going to break if I touch them and uh, 
They don't feel like that now. This isn't my favourite mascara because this isn't a volumising mascara and I love a volumising mascara but again that's personal preference and nothing down to the quality of the product. If you like to make sure that all your lashes are separated and your lashes are all pointing in the same direction you will probably absolutely love this mascara. So um, with that being said Let's move on to the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. So this is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. It's £49 in the UK and you get 9.5 grams worth of product, which is 0.34 ounces. This actually looks really pale in the pan. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it looks a lot paler than it was in the picture. This is supposed to be most suitable for anybody with a light to medium skin tone. I'm actually unsure of whether this is going to be suitable for anybody with a medium skin tone because this may actually make your complexion slightly paler, which I'm not sure you're going to be very pleased with. Anyway, I would say that this is most suitable for anybody with a fair to light skin tone. So if you've got a skin tone like mine and this is a good product, we'll see in a minute, you're probably going to love this. I would say that's who it's going to be suitable for. I have no idea if they're gonna release any more shades in this. I would hope that they are. Anyway, this is a fusion of three different acclaimed shades of the ambient lighting powders. There are two of the normal ambient lighting powders mixed in here as well as one ambient lighting strobe highlighter in here. So this should give you a little bit of radiance and a little bit of sparkle without it being too overpowering. This is supposed to provide a seamless multi-dimensional colour on the surface of the skin and it's supposed to deliver a natural radiant finish with a soft focus effect which is very very difficult to do. Usually soft focus effects are achieved by mattifying the skin. So if this gives radiance as well as giving that soft focus effect, this is going to be an excellent, excellent product. These are also handmade. So no two of these are going to be the same. If you bought one, it's not gonna look exactly the same as this one because the marbling effect is going to be completely different, which I really, really like because it just adds to that little bit of luxury. This also doesn't contain any parabens, phthalates, sulfates, talc, or any oils either. Let's get some of this on. So these are supposed to be applied after foundation, after concealer and after setting powder. You can apply these on bare skin though if you just want to give yourself that little bit more of a sheen to the surface of the skin and I've had great, great success using all the other ambient lighting powders in that way as well. With this one, I'm gonna do it exactly how it says to. So I've already applied my foundation and concealer and I've already set my concealer in place using the Laura Mercier setting powder. So I really love all of the other ambient lighting powders and they are extremely beneficial for anybody wanting to use a more full coverage matte foundation because these just add that little bit of life back to the skin and make the foundation look more like skin, look much more natural. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. So I'm hoping we have the same today. So I'm gonna dust that over half of my skin just to see how this reacts and see whether we do get any sort of soft focus effect. So that's the powder on this side of my face and then this is the side without anything on and I think this side looks a little bit more shiny which you would expect because this side only has a little bit of the Laura Mercier loose setting powder on there and it went on quite a long time ago so my natural oils have started to poke through that so this is slightly shinier on this side and on this side, it's just taken the shine down a little bit, but still looks very skin-like and very, very beautiful. Let me zoom you in so you can see really up close. 
So this is the side that has the powder on and I've put it everywhere. So usually I wouldn't put this over my pores because I don't like to accentuate my pores. So I wouldn't put anything with a sheen over my pores. But as this said that it did have soft focus capabilities, I've literally put it everywhere, which again, I wouldn't usually do with one of these powders, but it said you can do, so I did. So on this side, you can see that I think my pores are a little bit more evident on this side than they are on this side, which doesn't have any powder on it. I've seen this on quite a few other YouTubers skins though, and it looked like it gave them a little bit of soft focus, but I'm not really getting that vibe. Maybe if you apply this to a really dewy foundation, this may take a lot of the shine away. So you might feel like it's giving you a soft focus. Whereas this one that I'm wearing today, which is the Shantakai Future Skin Foundation, is actually quite a skin-like foundation. So it does have a tiny bit of radiance in there, but nothing, nothing too dewy. So um, maybe it's because of that. I don't know. Hmm. I've got to say, after using this for the first time, I wouldn't be using it all over the face. I would use it as I would usually use it. So let's do that on this side. So I'm gonna grab some of the powder and pop some of this on my forehead, which is where I would usually put it. And it does look very, very beautiful there. Down the tip of my nose and then sort of around this area and down here. But I always miss my chin area out with these ambient lighting powders because I don't want anything shiny down there. I get shiny enough as it is down there. So that is how I would apply it on this side of my face. And I think that that looks far more flattering than absolutely everywhere. So if you do have those larger pores, I definitely wouldn't advise putting it over the larger pores because for me, this hasn't airbrushed anything or had that soft focus effect. Okay, so let's go into final thoughts. And as I've just applied the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder, let's go into that first. So absolutely love this powder. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This hasn't lightened or darkened my skin any at all. So this is definitely the perfect shade for me. If you are my shade twin, you will really like this. It's given my skin a lot of life. It's very, very flattering. But again, I wouldn't apply it to my pore area in future. Because this has got strobe powders in here, this is just an area that you really need to avoid. Also, if you've got any large pores on your nose, I would avoid that area as well, as well as the chin. If you go oily, in any of the areas, I would steer clear of those as well. If you bought the ambient lighting palette, which I have as well, the powders in there, you either get some of the original ambient lighting powders, which are very radiant, but not strobe-like, and you also get a strobe powder as well. So you can choose where you're putting each of those individual powders, which you can't choose with this one because this is all mixed together. Would I recommend this? Definitely. I think it's made my skin look absolutely beautiful, just more lifelike, much more natural, and I really, really like it. Definitely would apply it more like this side though, rather than this side. Do I feel you need it in your collection? And that's a little bit of a sticky situation because if you're anything like me, you'll want it anyway and you'll not you'll just not listen to my opinion on that one. You'll just want to go out and buy it. And I completely understand that. However, if you already have the ambient lighting palette or one of the edit palettes, I have the ghost palette here, you already have some of the ambient lighting powders. Because of that, 
you don't need this in your collection. If you want it, by all means, go out and buy it. And I will definitely be using this in future videos because I just think it's absolutely stunning. But if you want a similar effect to this, you just go over all three of the powders in your ambient lighting palette or all three of the powders within your ghost edit palette. If you bought that one when I recommended it, you could get a very, very similar look just by mixing all of those together. Also with these, you can, like I said, use different powders in different places of the face, depending on how much sparkle you want, whereas you can't do that with this one. So I hope that's helped people. Yes, I think it's gorgeous. Yes, I recommend it. And if you're like me, you will probably go out and buy it anyway, but do you need to? If you've got the others, no. So let's go into the mascara. Okay, do I like it? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Loads of you are going to absolutely love this. Is this my favourite mascara? Well, I've already answered that when I was applying it. No, this isn't my favourite. I really like a really volumising mascara and this is not that. It never claimed to be that. So I knew this wasn't going to be my absolute ride or die right at the very beginning but it may be yours. It's a really beautiful mascara and I definitely recommend that you try it out if you like that really separated, really lengthened look. It's a really nice one. Okay, so I've just gone off camera to finish off my makeup and just pulled everything together using another couple of Hourglass products. You didn't think I was gonna place an order at Hourglass without buying a few more other items, did you? Anyway. I absolutely adore the ambient lighting blushes, as you know, and the one that I use most on my channel is in the shade Luminous Flush. Absolutely beautiful pinky shade, but I wanted to try something a little bit more corally, a little bit more peachy, so I've gone for the shade Dim Infusion, which is just uh, on my skin. Just really, really beautiful, very subtle, just gorgeous and natural and very girly. I actually purchased a couple of their bronzers. I've not used their bronzers before, so I'm just so shocked. I've actually not bought any of their bronzers before. So I have bought two, but I wasn't able to stretch to buying two of the full-size ones. Now this is a full-size one, and this is one of their minis. This is half the price of this one, but you get a lot less product. If you can't stretch to one of these, however, this is a great way of trying out a bit of Hourglass without the hefty price tag. So it's half the price, but you get about a tenth of the product, I think. So nowhere near as good value for money, but it just means you can get your hands on it for less. So uh, this one is the Nude Bronze Light, which I haven't actually used today, but it's one that I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of. And this one is in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. So uh, I thought I would pick that one up as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's the one that I've got on today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've got something out of it and you've found it helpful. Whether that is that you now desperately want to get your hands on these products or whether you really don't want these products or whether you don't feel like you need them in your collection. Whichever one it is, I really hope I've helped you and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.